Today at the LA Auto Show, you might say that things are a buzz with this, the new Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now, word of warning, this is not the American market ID Buzz, which is gonna be a little different than this. This is a European model, but it is definitely very retro and I love the look. Let me know what you think about this definitely retro inspired mini Volkswagen bus. The front end is certainly distinctive with that big VW logo, the two color scheme going on here, and it certainly has some resemblance to the rest of the Volkswagen ID family. Full LED headlights, just as you'd expect, and a really, really short front end. In fact, the glass for the windshield stops may be about 14 inches from the very front of the vehicle, so that certainly gives this that original Volkswagen bus vibe. Moving around the side, we have huge front windows there just in front of the side view mirrors. This is a very distinctive design. Of course, power sliding doors. No van would be complete without power sliding doors. This is the vehicle that I know so many of you have been wanting Volkswagen to build for a while. You could tell this is the European model because it's two row only, and that is going to be the big change for the US model, as it is going to have a third row in the back. Obviously, that model is probably going to be sold around the world, but it appears that that's the only one that we're going to get in the United States right now. As you'd expect, out of the minivan, we have a completely flat floor, really high ceiling here, about five inches of headroom left. So this is a very roomy vehicle. Nice touches like these uh, sort of airline style trays, which I have now folded out and I cannot figure out how to fold back in. There we go, right like that. Anyway, small cup holder in there, power button to close the door on the inside. And it's pretty easy to get in and out of, which did surprise me a bit because that big battery pack is right there under the floor. Moving all the way around to the rear, we find the charge door right there. Well designed so that way it does not hit the door. The charger is at an angle. So even though that doesn't open all the way, the charger will still slot right in there. Full LED head uh, taillights as we move around to the back. Uh, if we open up this power hatch, it is absolutely enormous. I am certainly getting original Volkswagen bus vibes with the size of this hatch. And one of the best features here is this enormous cargo opening. You could definitely fit much larger things back here than in a wide variety of minivans in America right now. You can see we have these fold up storage dividers going on here. So there's one there and then there's one in front of this. This gives you two tiers of storage under here so you can put all of your knickknacks away, use it as a divider. You can also unscrew them and take them out so that you have access to one very large storage area. And of course, you can fold the second row seats. Now, they don't fold flat into the floor or anything like that. They just fold flat with that upper level of the storage area, which is why they do so. And in case you're wondering, these little red loops here, uh, at this point in time at least, do not cause the seats to tumble forward or anything like that. They simply raise them and lower them into this position. That's something that might change, of course, with the three row model that's coming a little bit later. I think this interior is probably the best interior that Volkswagen has done since the Volkswagen Phaeton. I love the color scheme. It's really bright and cheerful in here, but I also li like the general design with this sort of imitation wood trim running right across the dashboard, the clean linear lines, the big LCD infotainment system right here in the middle. I do think that this instrument cluster is almost laughably small. It looks like it's about five inches or so, but I like its positioning and I think that it really works with the interior. We have a white steering wheel over here, big Volkswagen logo, the shifters on the steering column, which really frees up a lot of interior space. Speaking of interior space, we have a storage cubby there for your smartphone on that side, two USB charge only ports, big air vents there, lots of storage going down the center console. You can fold those up and then you can see that flat floor there storage right there between the front seats with separate armrests for the front seats and there are armrests on both sides so there's actually one on the outboard side of that passenger seat as well big storage dish over here for the passenger side also decently sized glove compartment below that and lots of storage going on on the front doors storage cubbies up there up top usb-c charge port on the front door as well that's a really cool touch and then of course, acres and acres of dashboard. That glass front is all the way up there. So in case you're wondering, it's not like the driver and the driver's feet are that close to the front of the vehicle because the driver and passenger's footwell is actually right about there, just about at the back of the front tire. So this does have a traditional crumple zone. It's all up there, but the styling makes this look like that classic Volkswagen van, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Another interesting design touch as a result of this really enormous glass windshield in the front dimensions are, this is where they put the collision monitoring camera system and the rain sensor for the active wipers. And these wipers are absolutely enormous. Also amazing, it has a hood, I guess you could say, but the top part doesn't open, the front part opens. I'm not entirely clear why. I think it's just because this is where you find the windshield wiper reservoir. They could have put that somewhere else, but hey, Volkswagen gave us a hood release and sort of a hood. 
I hope the ID Buzz goes on sale just as soon as possible because this is the kind of EV that I secretly want to own, even though I don't think I would own any other minivan in America willingly. The Pacifica plug-in hybrid is kind of interesting, uh, I don't know, as a business vehicle, something like that, but this is the kind of vehicle that I would want to own. Anyway, let me know what you think about all that down there in the comment section below. What are your hopes for the upcoming ID Buzz? This should be on sale, hopefully next year, so stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, find us over at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 and check out all the related footage from the LA Auto Show. See you later.